All right, the Grandrisa. This is the thing I'm currently reading. I just finished the foreword from Martin Nikolaus. My buddy Rob has also been reading it. You can go check out his videos. But this is one of the best forewords I've ever read in a Marxist text published in the West by a mainstream publisher like Penguin. Because usually the foreword is from some academic who's like, yeah, Marx was smart. But don't ever actually try and implement socialism or you'll accidentally kill a million people and Stalin and Mao killed a zillion people. This foreword is not like that. It's really great. They quote Lenin a lot. And I would read it if you have this copy of the book because it gives the structure of the Grundrisse or the Gundresse, as Rob would say. And it also gives the historical context in which Marx was writing this. So like Capital Volume 1, Marx had years and years to prepare, and he thought a lot about how to present the argument. And then Capital 2 and 3 were published by Engels using Marx's notes after his death. The Gundresse is Marx showing his work for Capital, or planning out Capital. It's Marx's economic manuscripts, when he was figuring all this stuff out. Capital is basically like the answer to the math problem, and the Gundresse is where Marx shows his work, shows how he came to the answer. And in the Gundresse, he's thinking about different ways to structure capital and structure the argument. He also has to combat a lot of the dominant ideologies of his day, like classical bourgeois economics as well as the Proudhonists and other utopian socialists. But he launches into writing this book because he understands that socialists need a strategy, a plan of action, and they need to understand the capitalist system if they're going to dismantle it and reconstruct something new and better. We need to understand how the capitalist system works. How does capital accumulate? How does exploitation happen? And this book is Marx working through all of those problems and coming to conclusions. The preface also talks a lot about Hegel and how influential Hegel was on Marx and how much Marx changed from Hegel in terms of his dialectic, which is a really interesting conversation that entire books have been written about. So this book is indispensable to understanding Capital, honestly. I don't know if I would read it before or after Capital, but either way, it'll let you see how Marx came to the conclusions that he did in Capital. Happy reading.